Hi everyone, welcome back to Unified Oski. We want to have a look at another skill station and that is intravenous flush with visual infusion flebite score assessment. Hi, before we continue this very interesting video, it's your editor here. Just want to quickly bring to people's awareness the existence of apprenticeships. What is an apprenticeship? An apprenticeship is a system that combines practical training in a job with study. You can study towards a qualification, gain work experience, and get paid all at the same time. Ships cover the age group of 16 and above. I am currently undergoing an apprenticeship and I've enjoyed my experience. Check the link in the description for more information. Now the steps we need to take to attain success in the skill station. Are you ready? Let's go. Yes, approach the scene. I can confirm the scene is safe to approach. There is nothing to cause harm to myself or my patient. I assure privacy is provided by pulling the curtain. That's an imaginary curtain. I go ahead to do my hand hygiene according to WHO standard. I put an ampoule of gel, I roll palm to palm, pop to back of hand, vice versa, palm to palm, fingers interlace, fingers interlock, fingers interlock. Tom's in rotational manner, Tom's in rotational manner, my fingertips on palm, fingertips on palm, my wrist in rotational manner, my wrist in rotational manner, allow my hands to dry for 30 seconds as I approach my patient. Hello. Hi, nurse. Yeah, my name is Ademola. I'm your attending nurse for today. I'm here to carry out an assessment on your cannula sites to check for any inflammation and to carry out a flush to maintain patency of the line. Is it a good time to do that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But before I go ahead, I would like to confirm your full name, date of birth, as I call check with the document I have with me, and your wristband. Is that okay with you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Can you tell me your full name, please? James Smith. Your date of birth? 8875. Perfect. I've got 88 James Smith on my document. Date of birth, 8875. And... Looking at the wristband, I've got James Smith, 8875, hospital number 1234, and 1234 on the wristband. Yeah, James, are you aware of any allergy to any food, drug, or latex? None that I know of. Oh, great. So I can see there is no documented allergy on my document, and you've got no red wristband. That means you don't have any allergy. Have you got any form of pain or discomfort at the time? Just a bit uncomfortable. Okay. Um, can you rate your pain for me on a scale of 0 to 10? 0 means no pain at all. And 10 means the worst or severe pain you've ever had. I would say a 2. A 2. And where is the pain? Just in my lower back. Oh, sorry about that. Can I just adjust the pillow? That would be helpful. Yes, and you feel more comfortable? Yes. Is that okay with you? Much better. Oh, wonderful. Are you still happy for me to go ahead? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just like I told you, I'm going to check your cannula side. I'll quickly do my hand hygiene again. Yeah, for doing the assessment on the cannula side, it's not compulsory to have gloves for that but the caution is you must make sure you don't touch the parts the cannula site but the skin surrounding the areas you can do that without a glove but even if you choose to put a glove to do that it's fine but i'm not putting glove but i'll be careful enough not to touch the attachment you know the main site for the attached to the cannula so i'm going to follow three p's plus es to cover my five points and that will make it easier for me not to miss out any of the five points to confirm the vip score okay i've i have the vip score chart with me and i'll be following that to score the cannula site yeah is is it tender to touch can i just touch you please Okay. Is it tender to touch? Do you feel any pain as I'm touching the side? No. No pain. Wonderful. And I cannot feel any palpable venous cord. You're not warm to touch. 
Assessor, can I confirm the temperature of James, please? Normal. Okay, the temperature is normal. That's wonderful. There is no erythema, no any form of redness. There is no swelling around the cannula side. And based on this, I've got a score of zero. So you have the V, the, the charts, the VIP charts will be provided on the station for the skill station. So that gives me a score of zero. And I have the action to take even based on the score. For a score of zero, that means no signs of phlebitis. All I need is to observe the cannula and I can go ahead to flush. If there is any form of slight pain or redness, that will give us a score of one. And for a score of one, we need to observe the cannula. And that gives us a sign of possible sign of phlebitis. You observe the cannula, but with a score of one, you can still flush. Please note, the only score you can still flush the cannula side is a score of zero and one. If you have a score of two, three, four, five, you cannot do the flushing. But definitely in OSCE station, they want to do an assessment to see how you, you're going to carry out the flush. So the maximum score you can have is a score of one or a score of zero. That would be the least. So you have a score of two, pain at the RV site, redness and swelling give us a score of two. And for that, the cannula needs to be out and we need to recite the cannula. If you have a score of three, you have pain along the part of the cannula, redness around the site and swelling. And for this as well, the cannula needs to be reinserted and you need to consider treatment of the site. A score of four, you have pain along the part of the cannula, redness around the site, swelling and palpable venous cord. And for that, it shows an advanced stage of phlebitis. You need to recite the cannula and you need to consider treatment for that. And when you have a score of five, you have all the five signs present. There's pain at the site of the cannula. There's redness, there's swelling. There is palpable venous cord. And definitely the patient will be pyretic. There's pyrexia. So you need to consider advanced stage of thrombophlebitis. You need to initiate treatment you need to reinsert the cannula. Okay, so I'm done with the VIP score. Um, James, I'm happy with your VIP score. You have a score of zero. I will quickly read through the prescription charts with you and I will go ahead to get the materials I need for the flushing of the cannula. Is that okay with you? Yes. Please. Okay, I've got with me the chart of James Smith, date of birth 8875, weight 74 kg, height 1.8, Body surface area not stated. The word is MAU. Date of admission today. Consultant Dr. Khan time of admission is eight hour. And the it's duly signed. The prescriber's page is duly signed by Dr. B. Khan with blip number 241. The, the part for the nurse administering medication is there. And I'll be coming back to sign that. Alas, there is no any allergy and there is no any risk factor. Moving to the next page, I can still confirm I have the chart of James Smith, 8875, all other details are correct. I have the code for medicine not administered. Under once and only medication, date is today. The drug is 0.9% sodium chloride, dose is 10 ml, route is intravenous, no instruction stated. Time is eight hour and it is due at my time, which is today. And the, it's duly signed by Dr. B. Khan, bleep number 241. So this prescription is legible, is valid and complete. So I'm happy to give this. The saline flush is just to help to maintain patency of your line, James. Is that okay with you? Yes. And some of the feelings you may have when I'm trying to flush it, you may have some feeling of coolness you no, know, like like a cold water passing through your body. You know, that's the feeling you can have. And feel any ex um, unbearable pain, then that is not acceptable. Are you still happy for me to carry on with that? 
Yes, no. Okay, I'm moving to the next page. I have the chart of James Smith 8875. All of that details are correct. There is no any oxygen prescribed for James. Moving to the next page, I have the prescription for James Smith 8875. All of that details are correct. On that microbials, there is nothing prescribed. Moving to the next page, I have the chart of James Smith 8875. Under regular medicine, there is no medicine prescribed. And moving to the next page, I have the prescription chart of James Smith. 889075. All of that details are correct. No required medicine prescribed. And moving to the last page, I have the chart for James Smith 8875. All of that details are correct. There is no infusion prescribed and omitted doses medicine coded um, page. It's also present. And I'll be going to get the materials. I'll do my hand hygiene. James, here's the call bell. If you need anything, I'm okay with you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Assessor, can I confirm my tray has been cleaned with soap and water within 24 hours? Yes. Okay. I'll see. Go ahead. Put my gloves. Put my apron. My cleaning wipes confirming its in date is not expired. I will take a cleaning wipes with my gloved hand. Clean in S shape manner. Discard that. Take one more. Clean the back side in S shape manner. Discard the glove, discard the apron. I'll do my hand hygiene and I'll go ahead to gather my materials. I need a saline flush. It's label saline flush. Expiry date is 2025. I'm happy to use it. So I'm going to compare it with the prescription charts. So on my prescription charts, I've got sodium chloride and it's the right medication. It's in date, it's intact. There is no, the flush is clear. There is no any cloudy or any form of sediment in it. So I'm happy to use it. I'll keep it in my tray. So I'll need alcohol wipes. It's intact, it's in date. So I'm happy to use this. I'll keep it. I'll put my apron. I'll put my glove. And I'll go back to my patient. Hello. Hi, nurse. Yeah, I'm back, like I said. Are you still happy for me to carry on? Yes, nurse. Yeah. Before I carry on, can you tell me your full name and date of birth again? It's James Smith. Okay, I've got James Smith on my document and I've got James Smith on your wristband. Your date of birth? 8875. I've got 8875 on my document, 8875 on your wristband. Uh, you told me you've got no allergies, is that right? Yes, that's right. Are you, comf are you, do you feel better after I reposition you for the pain? Yes, sir. So are you happy for me to carry on? Yes, sir. Okay, wonderful. So I'm going to open, I'm opening the alcohol wipe. I'm cleaning the pots for 30 seconds. Then 20, 30. And I'll allow it to dry for 30 seconds. I'll keep it here and discard it later. But the trick here is after cleaning the pot, I will ensure I do not drop this part that i'm going to flush with i will ensure the valve is open so i just pushed it and once i push it it's freely opened i can now take my flush i've opened it halfway remove it i'm taking it out now I'm, i'll make sure i do not let go i'll make sure i do not let go this part after cleaning it for 30 seconds so i can I can maneuver with these other fingers, put it in between, then remove the cap, put it in my tray, let out the excess air. I can withdraw gently and let out the air to prime it. Then it's in like making a screw. I'll just attach this 
I'm attaching it and just form a click. I've attached the syringe. I'm using the pulsating technique. The pulsating technique means a brief push and a brief pause or stop. Brief push, brief stop. And I will ensure I finish all the 10 mils. So, hello? Hi, nurse. Are you okay? Yes, nurse. Are you feeling any pain as I'm trying to flush the cannula? No. Okay. Do you feel some coldness? Just slight. Okay, that's normal. Push, pause. Push, pause. Push, pause. Push, pause. Push, pause. Push and pause. Push, pause. Push, pause. Push, pause. Push, pause. Push, pause. Push, pause. And that's it. I'll ensure all the terminals is used completely. Please ensure you use the terminals completely to flush the line. Are you okay, James? Yes, sir. Okay. I've unscrewed the syringe. I will discard this in the clinical waste. It doesn't have a sharp, so it can go in the clinical waste. I'm through with flushing the line. The marking criteria does not categorically state to clean after that, but I choose to clean after that, and there's no red signal for that. But even if you don't clean after you're done with the flush, it is acceptable, but I would love to clean. So I clean for 30 seconds, allow to dry for 30 seconds. And one thing I must not forget, I need to ensure I clamp the line and make sure my patient is comfortable. So I'm done. I will ensure I remove my glove and all the things I've used. It goes into the clinical waste. I will discard everything I've used. It goes into the clinical waste. My apron goes into the clinical waste. Okay. I will ensure the tray is cleaned and make ready for the next use. I will do my hand hygiene. James, just give me some few seconds. I'm just going to chat okay with you yes, okay so i will go to under the stats and date is today i will sign my name my signature ba and the time is eight hour okay and i will go to the column for details of person administering medication i will put my name bukola demola and initial signature the base, the base is the word where you attending. So the base is MAU. So I put MAU and that will be all. We'll go back to James. Hello, James. Hi, Nurse. I'm back, like I said. Are you okay? Yes, Nurse. Okay. Do you have any concern, any question for me? No, I'm all right. Nurse. Okay, wonderful. I'll be leaving you for now and I'll be back when you are due for your next intravenous medication. Here is the call bell. If you need anything, just press the bell and I'll be right back. Is that okay? Yes. I'll do my final hand hygiene. And that will be all for your intravenous flush and VIP score assessment. All the best.